Um, I'm used to saying chair at this point, actually. It seems a bit weird not to turn around and say uh, chair. Um, anyway, for those of you who don't know me, um, my name's Scott Walker, uh, and I am the chair of Unite's Executive Committee in Scotland. Um, welcome to our union's first policy conference in Scotland. Um, can I say I was approached um, at a bar last night by one of our uh, young, I should say I wasn't drinking, um, by one of our young members who asked what the hashtag is for the conference. I'm not the most prolific or experienced of tweeters, but I, I have spoken to our team this morning who informed me that the hashtag is hashtag USPC16. Okay, so for those of you who tweet, that's what you, you tweet on. Um, conference, I'm not going to kid you on the workload in putting this conference together since our lay membership voted to establish a Scottish policy conference has been uh, quite incredible. So much so that um, I'm half hoping that somebody will put forward an emergency motion to abolish it and we don't need to have another one. <laughs> um, but seriously though, um, can I place on record my thanks to all the Unite team who have worked so hard to put together what I hope, what I know will be a hugely successful conference. It's really appreciated. Can I also place... <laughs> applause and everything, I hadn't timed that in. Um, can I also place on record how great it is to be in such a terrific venue, a venue that's publicly owned, publicly run, that recognises and promotes trade union rights. It's not often, if at all, actually, that we get to say that about the venues that we hold our conferences in. So it's really good to be able to say that and can also thank all the staff for their assistance in supporting the conference. Uh, I'd like to draw your attention to a number of the stalls. You'll have seen them as you come in, those of you who have uh, been here since last night. A number of stalls during the weekend from partner organisations who provide services to our members. I won't mention them all. There's always a danger of missing out people when you offend somebody. Uh, but all the details are in your delegate packs. There's also a number of our unions, internal <coughs> services there, uh, legal community organising, research and policy are here during the weekend, so please take the time to visit those stalls as well as talk to uh, your union reps on them, find out more, ask any questions you may have. They're all here to serve the interests of you, our members. I'd also encourage you to take the time to attend some of the short documentaries that we're showing over the course of the conference to promote cornerstones of our union, equality and internationalism. Conference, we're always in danger, I think, of wrongfully banding, a word, banding words around like momentous and historic, but as your first elected chair of the United Scottish Executive Committee in September, I genuinely feel that that's what this weekend is. This conference has the potential to greatly contribute to the creation of a fairer and more progressive Scotland. We have a real opportunity, one that I am sure we will grasp, to mo make progress not only for workers, but also for the unemployed, those who are retired, those not represented by a union in work, and those coming through our education system hoping to find a job in the coming years. This conference is your conference. We're not here to rubber stamp anything. We're here to discuss, debate, and decide through lay membership democracy what should be the future direction of our union in Scotland and to use these decisions to shape the future of our country. So on our agenda, we'll be discussing motions ranging from our transport sector, health services, civil justice and local government to debate on the powers we believe that our country should have to create that fairer society. And I would encourage you all to speak and fully participate in those debates. We we'll welcome the press. We we'll welcome the leaders of the Labour Party in Scotland, Kesha Dugdale, and at a UK level, Jeremy Corbyn. We will also welcome the First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, and most importantly, the Chair of our Union, Tony Woodhouse, and our General Secretary, Len McCluskey. Our union has made substantial strides since Unite was formally created in May Day 2007. 
and I know that Pat and Len will talk a little bit more about the achievements we've made in Scotland to the UK and beyond our borders. So this conference will lay foundations that must be built upon, but unless they are enhanced by vision and purpose, they will remain ambitious rather than accomplishments. So let's ensure that when we leave here on Sunday afternoon, we go forward with confidence, energised that we can make a difference, that we can set the agenda. It was Martin Luther King who said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Conference, we can be an important lever in bending that arc alongside sister unions, community organisations, politicians and NGOs. However, conference, it's not all serious. It's also an opportunity to meet other comrades for different sectors of the economy and indeed the areas of our country. Perhaps for the first time to build new friendships and it's also about having a good time. We want you to enjoy conference. So you'll be pleased to know that we've got some fantastic live entertainment and some hospitality tonight to ensure that that happens. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, however, that we do have a job of work to do tomorrow as well. So enjoy yourself, but not too much. And thank you for being here. Thank you for your contributions to come. But most of all, thank you for being the heartbeat in workplaces and communities, because without you, there would be no union.